Hey guys, it's Justin here, and today I've got an app review called Moxtra. What this is, is a cloud-based presentation app, and it allows you to collaborate very, very easily wirelessly. It allows you to create different binders and add files such as text, photos, videos, audio, and even set up meetings to work with, um, for example, your family members if you want to share something cool with them while you're explaining it, or if you want to use this for work if you're working on a website and want to be able to send files, collaborate, present ideas over the cloud, it makes it very easy to do so. So it gives you a whole bunch of options in terms of what you want to add to the file. Here I'm just going to draw something random on this blank piece of paper and add it to the binder. There's also a record button on the top right corner you could see that allows you to record exactly what you're doing and it saves it as a video over the cloud as well. You will need an account for this but the account is free of course. And after you're done that you can also share it to different people. You can share the binder to people you know or people at work to allow them to see exactly what's in there um, in order to collaborate and everything. You can see I made some changes to that and it also shows a log of the changes made to each file that was added to the binders. So I think this app just makes it very easy to collaborate, which is the main purpose of it. And by doing so with the cloud, it makes it very hassle-free. All you got to do is create your account and share it with the people who may want to use it. And you can also set up some meetings. So if you wanted everybody to meet at the same time, you can set it up, invite people to it. You can also have an audio conference going on at the same time. So a little bit like a Skype call, but it allows you to kind of work with the work and show the people you need to show exactly what to do or show your images to some family members from your vacation or something. So it makes it very easy to invite participants and the meetings, start the meeting, bring up files and also have the audio conferencing going at the same time. One example I'd find myself probably using this for is if I had a screenshot of my website and I wanted something to be fixed up, I can make a note of that and share it with my web designer in which you can get a very good understanding on how to do so. And with the audio conferencing, like I said again, that just makes it very easy to um, collaborate and work on certain projects, whatever it is. You can also add some notes and there's just another way to set up meetings. The overall menu is very simple and the structure of the app is very simple throughout as well. There really isn't much to it and there's just the settings menu itself. So I have to say I have, the application itself works very well. I haven't really run into any issues as well. I like the fact that it is done over the cloud so you can share it with people like I mentioned many times in this video. But you can also have it in the cloud, go to your another device and also access your files from there very easily through your account. But other than that, I definitely encourage you to go over to the App Store and check this app out. It is free and I find it very handy so far whether you're using it with work or just between family members. It gets the job done. I haven't really noticed any evident issues so far. The menu is easy to navigate, the app is easy to use, and so far it's been working seamless. So thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.